Hey, I'm here to tell you to snap out of it. And this is what this whole recording is going to be about. It might work for you, it might not work for you, but snap out of it. Okay. I was walking down the street, you know, and I was noticed the way I was looking down at the, you know, pavement and, and the cement. So I snap out of it. I was eating. I'm eating a sandwich right now, but snap out of it, you know. I was um feeling depressed this morning. <coughs> Excuse me, snap out of it. I was having these negative thoughts without wanting to have it, you know. But I snapped out of it. I was um I was finding ways to snap out of it, you know. I was um studying my behavior and how late I woke up today. I woke up at twelve thirty. No breakfast in my body, so there's nothing to burn. And I saw myself constantly thinking this way, in a negative way. Uh, not necessarily negative things in my mind, but I, I saw how, like, damn, bro, it's like, I need some, some oranges. I, I need some fruit. I need some, I need some water. You know, I need some juices. I need some vitamins. So I, I ended up snapping out of that. I told myself, you know, um, one day I'm going to have the same feeling. So I had to find the quickest way to snap out of it. I want to go ahead and uh, made myself some breakfast, you know, just so I could snap out of it. Although I was in that zone where I wasn't really comfortable. I'm not having the blast of my life, but I had to snap out of that. You know, it's like snap out of it, you know. I have to snap out of myself where I'm wanting the urges of smoking weed, you know. Yesterday, I was drinking, you know, and I couldn't finish my beer. And so it's like a waste of beer, you know. Um, I was telling myself, what can I record? You know, what can I talk about? And then... In my subconscious mind, when I didn't have anything, like no food in my system, no water, no hydration fluids, it told me, you know, don't do nothing. So I snapped out of that and I said, fuck it, I'm going to do something. You know, I made myself some breakfast and it's been a long while. It's been almost like a month I haven't cooked breakfast for myself, you know. Snapping onto that for sure, you know. Um, I made myself some coffee, so I'm on on, the, on that right track of making this something that I have to do and keep doing. Um, music's pretty, music can always influence, influence you, so if it's like bad music with bad lyrics, it might sound dope and shit, snap out of it, you know. Not used to other things, well, try other things, you know. Um, do other shit, you know, just make yourself comfortable and cozy, but you want to snap out of it, you know, you want to like move on, you want to move on and keep moving, it's December, it might be cold, but you want your body to be warm, you know, get yourself, realize yourself that you're not part of that hibernation season type of bird and shit, right, so go ahead and snap out of it for sure. You know, man. The topic of kids is, is like a really heavy topic, you know. Why? You know, snap out of it and tell us why. Well, it's not always the same when you have your kid, you know. You can't talk about having something when you don't have it yet. And you don't know yet, so... So it's just an idea that you don't know, you know? But, um, 
you know, any time could give me that good answer for it, you know. When I have my kid, just like, I'm not even sure if I'm going to ever bring up my podcast or recordings, you know. So I got to somewhat snap out of it, but you never know, you know. You never know how creative you could be, and they're going to allow it. I don't know. You never know the possibilities of someone allowing you. Well, not allowing you, but someone who's cool will be saying, yo, talk about my life, you know. And I'll be like, yeah, sure. Sure, shoot me like a, a paragraph or an essay. So you could like snap out of it, you know, so you could like keep moving. Who knows, man? Who, who knows what kind of pareja is there for me in the future? I'm not going to be like fucking shit left and right, you know. And if you have that image towards me, you know, you, you're having the wrong image, you know. Snap out of that. <laughs> you know, it's just like realizing what you really need for the day. You know, you might be having bad thoughts early in the morning. You know, everybody's having a blast early in the morning. And those who are always trying to be happy are on set, you know. They're looking for a bright, brighter day. They're looking for a a good day. They're looking for good friends. Obviously, the ones that are gonna offer you some water and a and a Coca Cola. But um, the ones who are gonna, you know, who care for you, you know, who are there for you, who invite you over and stuff like that. You know, people who um keep you in their close circle. You gotta appreciate them, you know. You know, a friend's never gonna offer you drugs or beer, you know. But like I was saying yesterday, I was having like this tequila with Coca Cola. I hadn't even finished my small glass. You know, I was like, what the fuck? Am I snapping out of it? I told myself, oh, I'm just wasting Coca Cola and tequila. I finished the, the separate Coca-Cola can, but the tequila was still inside that Coke uh, glass. You know, I was like, you know, this is just a waste. And I was drinking a, a barril, a barrito, whatever it is, a small alcoholic beverage. I didn't even finish it, perhaps because it tasted nasty. But I'm like, I'm not ready to go into that buzz right now. You know, I'm not ready or focused to be in that buzz or focus not care and not giving a fuck right it's like i'm too conscious i'm too aware of, of the things that i'm doing you know it's hard it's hard to finish a beer you know it's hard to be saying no oh, i'm gonna finish it right now you know <laughs> but um you want it to be almost just right you know as, as if it was like a celebration of self-value right before you even intoxicate yourself so I'll snap, snap on, you know, snap on, man. There's some good snaps out there. Um, There's always going to be times where you're going to say, oh, man, should I keep smoking? If I was you, I, I would try my best not to smoke, you know. I'm not saying don't smoke. You know, I'm not saying keep smoking. You know, it's always fun to smoke. Of course, if you if you um, add some positiveness towards it, you know, it's most likely that you're gonna be convinced. You know, if you see a video, you're not gonna last throughout the whole video. You know, if you're wanting to change, you know, um, yourself, and I'm not trying to convert no one to become sober. You know, it might sound like that, but not really. <clears throat> um. I just want everybody to be like aware of of their things, you know. It's like it's like, do you want to be like as healthy as you can? You know, do you, do you want to feel like you want to be like your Muhammad Ali of your time? You know, you want to feel like you're the the most influential person in your own life. You know, because you do influence a lot of people based on the size, based on what you do, your acts. The happiness you bring. Um, all those things, man. Even the sadness. So that's where I got to snap out of it. <laughs> I 
I gotta snap out of it myself. You know what is it that I'm trying to do? You know. I'm looking through my in own Instagram uh, profile pictures, and I'm like, all right, I have this, I have that. And this Arte Locura kind of started by posting pictures from Mexico because it helped me, it cured me. Um, doesn't matter what it was, what I was going through, you know, it helped me snap out of it. It was a long process. It was a long six months. Everybody knows how long six months is in another state when the rest of the family is having fun and shit. I mean, you could like relate, sort of. I'm not trying to compare it to no one's life. Um, it helps you, helps you, um, it helps you, you know, it helps you, it helped, it helped me a lot, you know, it helped me a lot, and now I'm on right track, sort of, you know, um, I'm missing my family, for sure, from Mexico, and both sides, doesn't matter what side, you know, from my dad's or mom's side, they're all my family, you know. And of course, we got family here in in um in Los Angeles, and you know it's like I feel like we're more distant from them, sorta, you know. So um, you know, the more time I'm more silent, the more things um your brain is able to um, make up stuff real quickly. That's how fast your brain is. Well, maybe at one point, you know. If you're absorbing things really super fast and you're not catching yourself, um, it's hard to, to say, okay, let me t take a deep breath. And then you hold it and you're there for like, let me sustain it for like as long as I can, you know, to lower the tempo of my heartbeat, you know. My heartbeat is telling me I'm too, I'm on tracks, you know. The, the heartbeat and the fluent, and, 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 you know, not the fluent, and how fluent I can be sometimes is like, it's perfect. You don't have to speed up your heartbeat. You don't have to lower it. You don't have to do anything. Continue it slowly, you know. Now, those are the things where I'm snapping onto. It's like, all right, I'm observing these, these snaps where it's like, oh, okay, cool. I'm doing fine. I'm listening to the music that I like. I'm on this uh, recording session. It might not last a long time until I feel like I'm killing it or ruining it. I'll be like, oh, okay, let me step back for a bit, you know. But so far, it's so good. I like it. If, if to the point where I like where I like to sound like, maybe in the future I'm going to come back and listen to it, you know. It ain't easy to be focused, you know. What what is it that you guys want to talk about? You know, what is it? It's hard to be relaxed and focused. You know, it's not easy. You know, it's not easy. But with some practice of knowing how what's your most relaxed state, you'll be easy to uh, know what it is to make you more stronger. I guess to those things that keep you bugging, you know, that keep you annoyed by shit. Um, nothing really triggered this, you know, I'm not really, yeah, you know, I'm not letting anything get to me for right now. But, um, you know, I'm just here, just chilling, listening to Modest Mouse. I feel like I'm tense. I might end up working out today. I might be just doing push-ups, some sit-ups, some stretches, or just like jumping jacks, <laughs> just to make my body feel warm without the additional the additional of sweaters, right? Um, I am skeptical going to work because I do have a boss who has COVID. Well, who had COVID. And that's something that's a no-no, you know. I'm not going to want to, you know, I, I appreciate my family so much, man. 
that um, I don't want to be the one where, oh, I got COVID and now these guys are going to be the ones suffering because of a responsible person, you know? You know, if they have COVID and they keep coughing, if they say they feel better and they're coughing at work, and it's like, you know, you're, you could be the, that fucking bitch of the world, you know? You could contaminate people eating the pizza. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just overthinking some stuff, right? You could obviously contaminate your partners to be more realistic. You could, uh, leave that mucus somewhere around here. You know, I don't feel bad. Sorta. I don't. <laughs> you know, if they're like going out to parties and drinking at bars, that's where they got it, you know? And, you know what? It's like, it could have been COVID or it could have been a long vacation. You know, and then people are just acting like if they're sick. But who knows, man? Who knows? Who really knows, man? So I got to snap out of that topic for a bit. And... And yeah, you know, breakfast hit good. I'll let you guys know what I made. So I toasted two breads, added some turkey. Yeah, sadly I eat some turkey over ham. Doesn't mean I'm not a camel. I'm not killing animals, you know. <laughs> it's a little bit softer, you know. <laughs> I'm not laughing at it, but it's like you know what? You gotta eat something and some eggs. <laughs> I cooked my egg, eggs uh, over hard, toasted the bread with the, the ham, I mean the turkey, inside the, the toaster. Just wait until it's warm enough to lay on a, a cheese, a slice of cheese of pepper jack. Cook the breads to, no, cook the, the eggs. See, I'm all over the place. Cook the eggs over hard, two of them, later on each. Um, loaf of bread and then sandwich that bitch and eat it you know it takes less than half an hour to cook you know less than 10 minutes if you're really on precise what you want it ain't hard but one day you're gonna want to cook for yourself in the morning and those are gonna be the times where you know what you could be a lot different when you cook for yourself you know it's not junk food you know, you're using your resources that you bought. It is hard to get yourself started cooking. You know, it ain't something um, easy. You know, it's like you got to tell yourself it's easy and do the most basic thing. You know, I dislike cooking for myself because I do it at work. You know, it's like, but it's a struggle. It's a struggle. You know, it's, um, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who dislikes that. But I'm not going to be purchasing shit from McDonald's all day, every day, you know. I don't want to be constipated with, like, bad food, you know. I do drink some water and stuff like that, but that's not really important. So, the, um, so uh, what snacks after breakfast? You know, what do you guys do after breakfast? You know, I'm happy that I'm, I've been almost, uh, how long has it been? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I've been 17 days without posting anything on Instagram, without adding anything on my stories. I'm sort of happy, you know, I'm happy. I'm happy that um you don't have to post anything. I'm happy that I'm slowly, well, not, you know, I do use it sometimes. I'm not going to say no. But, um, you know, it's like, do you really need it? No, you don't really need it. Do you need uh, internet? Maybe you do. Maybe I do. Do I need it, like, 
for what I needed, like art and, and stuff like that. No, not really. You know, I shouldn't be looking up and, and see what's the most popular thing to be uh, drawing, you know. Is it for some good use or bad use or what is it for? It's for many uses, many things out there, you know. For sure, one of those top uh, useful things is to uh, use it for music. You know, it's like, all right, cool. You know what you're using it for, you know. I like music, Modest Mouse. I like searching up uh, similar music. I like searching up music that sounds almost just like the music that I like to hear. Um, I gotta snap out of it for a bit. You know, what is it mostly used for, you know? I gotta stretch for a bit, you know? Get it too cozy in that position of sitting down. I gotta pay attention more to my spine. You know, it's like, well, I got this boombox type of, um, you know, I got to treat myself for Christmas, you know, and, and other people too. So I got a few things off some websites and I hope they like it. You know, I hope it's like the perfect gift. You know, I'm not no biggie on buying people gifts, but it's a different meaning when you're buying it from your own money, you know. It's one of those weird feelings that it's like you're not still used to it. You know, you're still new to it. You know, it's like, oh, shit, people buy shit from their own money. It's like, it, you know, you're, it's like, you know, man, it's like, it's it's hard for someone who's young to see it. You know, it was hard for me to see it, you know, because right now I'm the one buying gifts for for people, you know. It ain't easy, you know. I'm not putting any like, oh, what did they do to deserve this? No, it's more like, well, you know, it's like, I'm not saying that much, that how much I appreciate them, you know. But it's like, you know, it's like, sort of like sacrificing, you know, a little bit of what you make. And say, and it's not one of those last things where it's like, oh shit, it's the last week present type of thing. No, man, it's like, I already got your birthday present. It's ahead of time. You know, I already have it. I'm going to get it soon, within a week. And your birthday is not coming up until like a couple of days, you know. And um, if it's one of those things where I'm going to be waiting like like that, I'll be like, you know what? Yeah, you got to wait. You got to wait. <laughs> you got to wait until you get it, you know. And yeah, you, you have to wait to get it, you know, man. And it's like, that's what I am sometimes. I get it early. And it's just like here sitting down. And when I'm like, oh, bro, they're going to be so excited. You know, that excitement of them getting it might chill down for a bit. It might numb it for some while. And when they get it, it's like, oh, shit, they're happy, you know. I'm not sure if they're going to be happy with what I got them, but I'm for sure going to be proud of myself that the gift was already in my hands ahead of time and not something from like a quick uh purchase from a week you know before you know it's like you're on time you're way before time you know um a budget for purchasing things for birthday gifts um I would say like 50 bucks worth of things, you know, maybe like a small gift, some gift cards and something creative. I don't know. It used to be just being creative things, you know, but sometimes people don't want creative things. They want things that are going to be used and worn off and thrown it away. You know, I like that kind of style, you know, where you could use it, have it for a while and throw it away. You know, I'm not going to be hoarding up on shit. Uh, you know, it's like. 
But you know, you gotta appreciate cosas, man. You know? Um, if you find the perfect the perfect thing to use and to um constantly wears out and then so you could throw it away. <laughs> And hopefully it's not a, like a joke type of shit. You know, like you're not purchasing them some condoms or shit like that, right? <laughs> but um, there's like a a bit humor here and there, but not all of it sometimes. Um, I gotta snap out of it for a bit. You know, I gotta sit back and and see where I'm at. Look in the mirror and say, what can I be talking about to myself? You know. <laughs> You know, um, you could, um, I think, man, anybody could advance forward from depression. You know, it's it's easy. It's not easy sometimes, but it's easy. You know, it's easy when you know what you're doing. It's easier when you're catching yourself waking up at two of the tarde almost every week. You know, one day you're gonna wake up early. You know. One day you're gonna be. One day you're gonna realize, like, oh shit, this is what people are waking up to in the morning, and it's gonna be so weird, so different. That you're gonna trip the mouse. Like, why are you up so early? You know, you're a kid and go back to sleep. <laughs> one day you're gonna decide to snap out of it and say, "Fuck, man, today's the day when I wake up at seven, and it might be Sunday or Saturday." And you're gonna be like. What do people do this early around the house? You know, what is it that they do? And you're like, it might be difficult to understand if you don't usually wake up at 7 in the morning. I'm waking up early because it's like only job related, you know. Before job related, it was like a while of practicing to getting up early. It was like uh, maybe I could start something throughout my day. Um. Now, um, you know, there's some, you know, the the frio is really heavy, man. It's um, it's not easy to wake up early, man. It's not easy to get out of bed warm and stuff, and then feel cold, and it's a struggle. It's the struggle to get up out of bed early, you know. You know, I struggle waking up early, man. I do have my alarm at 7. I snooze that shit like five times. You know, and it's like when I finally want to get out of bed, that's when the phone runs out of, out of battery, you know. And that's where it's like, fuck, man, I overslept four more hours. And it's really sad, man. I got to snap out of that shit, but I have, to, I have to talk about it, you know. It's sad that it's like I put my alarm at 7 a.m. and I wake up like at 10 or 11 or even 12, you know. Uno, te estás pasando. Dos, de verga, no manches. And I'm there and I'm like, dude, it's like, I just wasted so much hours. I'm just dealing with these people's morning, fucking morning rituals and shit. And I feel like I'm still asleep. I'm, I'm going to catch on until it's later. And your body fully awakes when it's about 9 p.m. You know, 9 de la noche. And that's a horrible, that's a really, really fucking horrible schedule, man. That's a horrible routine. I gotta talk shit up about that for myself. For myself. For my future self. It's bad, man. Wake up at 7. You know, wake. I have to tell myself, wake up at 7. And I am gonna change it, you know. It is different. You know, you... You know... It, it's different waking up early. It's, it's always different. And during this, this cold weather, it's different too. Isn't it? No. 
it, it sometimes you know i gotta appreciate the, the cold weather but it's, I, I don't want to be overwhelmed and comfortable from the cold weather and warm sheets you know i don't want to be like that man it's like you naturally know that you don't want to be like that you know there's times where you're gonna notice your depressive face sometimes man you're gonna notice that um you know, you're going to notice that you're going to be sitting in the chair and, and, and just be thinking, like, why did I wake up so fucking late? You know, I'm not fucking 17 no more. You know, I'm not 18. You know, it's like I'm my age, man. I'm straight up 28 and I'm waking up late like this. You know, I look in the mirror. I see a kid. You know, I see like a teenager, you know, but um, I got to be true to my age. It's like, man, you're 28. It's like you should be waking up early like these old folks around here, you know. Um, cleaning up the leaves and shit. Uh, sweeping some shit outside, you know. Just making sure that you're alive, you know, that you're okay, right? It's not always to be good inside, man. You want to know that your presence is there, you know. You're, that you're alive, man. You want to let people know that you're around, you know. I mean, it might not be the same for other people, you know, for other other people out there. But if you're like the man of the house, you want to do some manly shit. You know, I'm slacking off on manly shit because I'm at work, you know, and that could be an excuse. But if I'm talking about it and being creative, I, I, I'm not sure if it balances out, but it's, it's not nothing compared to like cutting grass and stuff like that, right? Or working on, on things and stuff and in, inside the house. Yeah, once you, you have your everything clean and set up for the next day, give yourself some chance to say, um, you know, what's next? You know, what can you be doing next? You know, uh, you know, you're all set, you know. Your room's cleaner than your siblings and your parents or whatever. Your, what is it, your, your neighbors or that's if you go neighbor, you know, visit from your uh, roomies or whatever what's that word uh what's that one what's that one word where people live with i don't know where the people you live with and you start comparing your neatness and it's like man it's like already done cleaning that was a phase a weird phase and now you're like oh bro it's like you could definitely see how a dirty and a clean room can a dirty room and a clean room can influence you. You know, you might care so much about your life, and it could be super super dirty, or it could be not giving a fuck and be super clean. It's fucking weird, you know. It's fucking, it's fucking weird. I'm gonna say that for sure. It's fucking weird when you have your room all organized, and you have like everything set for the next day. It feels, it, see, you're you're expressing that you're fucking clean, but you feel like you don't give a fuck, <laughs> you know, and, and sometimes when you're like, at the most dirtiest, it feels like, yo, this is about the time where I care, you know, this is a time where I give a fuck, you know, it's like where uh, I'm mostly to be more caring for others when I'm, my room is all dirty, but, you know, uh, looking at a dirty ass room will never ever help you out, you know. I say that because I'm, you know, everybody goes through a dirty room when they're in their teens. When they're older, it's harder to notice because there's other things that um, occupy that attention, you know. Uh, this is just like a boost for people who are having a hard time realizing what they fuck up in the morning. It could be waking up late. It could uh, perhaps be not making the bed not washing the dishes perhaps you know just making people kind of like check on you know once your 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 area is clean man it's like you're able to do whatever the fuck you wanted it wanted to be doing you know it's like you're give yourself that pat in the back you know um you might be doing it almost every day and you wanting the people who are near you or the closest to you and say oh good job right but i'll tell you that good job man good job carnala you know good job sister good job bro you know, it's like, it's hard for someone to, to hear it from, you know, we're not going to be putting that up into the person's mind, we're not going to hold it until they say whatever they want to say, you know, they, they'll, nat when they're waking up naturally, they're going to be like, oh, they just have an eye on it, you know, they have an eye for that, you know, 
when when you're busy and you're cleaning and you're onto something as in building up a project to change your life, your future, our future, uh, those people's future who want to have a different type of lifestyle and a different understanding. You know, it's like no one has the same understanding for life. You know, everybody has a different quote. Everybody has a different motivation, different icon to look up to. Some people have icons as in celebrities. And that's a weird one, but some people have their families as icons and say, oh, I'm doing it for them. Uh, that's the most natural way to go. I respect that, you know. But if you know that you could do it, you know, that you could do it with like a small business of the things that you do the best and you have the money now and do something from it, throw some, throw a thousand bucks on it and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put up a thousand bucks. I'm going to puke that shit and say, fuck it. Let's, let's see what this, where, where it gets me, you know, let's see how much I make out of a thousand bucks out of the pocket that I work for, you know, I'm not going to wait until I sell products until it becomes a thousand bucks and then use that because that's going to be fucking useless yeah it's different when you work for it then you doing your passion and you get it from there you know but um it's sort of like a sacrifice when you're applying for a job and you say you know what you want to have like your own anybody could come up with like their own line of shirts you just need like the things that you always live by, I guess. Your pride. You know, what is it that you're always thinking about? What is it that you like? Was it a drawing that you made when you were young? I guess this is my way of advertising myself, you know? Is it like something that you look up to? Is this like the type of music? Uh, a signal? Is it a symbol? Is it like a meaning? Is it like a phrase? And it's like, you know what, man? I would like all this for my friends. You know, this is something where I I, I take notes from Instagram. It's like, you know, it'll be dope that it, all these people who, all these businesses belong to my friends. You know, it's like, I want that for my friends. You know, I want that f for them. You know, that's what I wish for people. I'm sort of praying. It's like, man, it's like, if, if this stranger from Instagram is making money and making some silly ass shirts and it's like, yo, you know, you're fucking funny, bro. It's like, you're funny. You're funny, primo. You know, it's like you could come up with anything you want, you know, and you could just make 12 of them just for fun. You know, 12 shirts or you could say I could wear day and night, you know, maybe for pajamas, you know. But, um. One day someone's going to say, hey, I like that shirt. You know, it's like, I like your lifestyle. Your family's dope. Well, look, I see that you, you put some money into some shirts and I'm like, I want one too. You know, it's like, naturally people are going to want one. You know, if you work around them, they'll say, you know, I want one, man. And snap me out of this fucking lifestyle. Snap, snap me out of this like reality. Put me in a position where I want to be like, uh, uh, this is like a weird person different and they think so, somewhat different. I want to think like them too, you know. But I see all these like business, small businesses on people and it's like, you know, uh, on Instagram doesn't really bum me out. And I'm like, you know, man, I could see my homies, talent, drawings, lifestyle, stories of their life. And I'm saying, you know, if you can narrow down all that into one phrase a uh, logo a drawing a uh, color a uh, symbol you could probably make someone make some income cash from it just by trying you know and maybe not be maybe not be like a dramatic change from one day to another but there's gonna be something in your head where it's like dang it, it might be a cool idea and my it's not for the money neither you know it's like you're doing it for yourself it's like, oh, maybe you're gonna make a product line of shirts and, and it's weird for me to talk about it, you know, because like, like I said, man, it's like I'm here and, you know, I want to make my 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 clothing. I want to make some shirts, you know, but um, it could be like um, just 12 shirts for 12 normal male tees, right? Male shirts. But I have all these other ideas where I just want to make 
I talk about my ideas, man, it's, and that's a good thing. Yeah, there is going to be people who steal your ideas and, and do all those things, man, you know? Um, but if it works for them, fuck it, works for them, you know? And if they got motivated from someone who talks about it or draws about it and sees themselves that way, you know? It would be super weird that out of nowhere they're it pops up from them and it works for them you know and it won't be as realistic as real as to be saying oh what made you start that you know it's like when you start asking the questions it'll be way fucking different is oh i feel like this is was unoriginal you know it's the same thing but um it's not always gonna be like that you know they might be having their reasons but like I said, man, it's like uh, I would want my friends to all have like small businesses and be able to um, have like a line shirt of their own. You know, I guess that's my way of saying, you know, I'm down to digital, digitally make a digital illustration from your your sketch or something and say, you know what, that's that's for you. You know, that's that's yours. You know what I'm saying? It's like when you just make shirts, shoot me one, you know. But, um, you know, it might not just be that easy, you know, maybe some interest. <laughs> nah, just kidding. But uh, who knows, man? Maybe it becomes that big of a deal where it's like, damn, Omar is like, what's the next step? You know, I'm not no person who asks for some good advice or nothing like that. But if you're visualizing yourself to have your own clothes, T-shirts, uh, your own shoes, your own uh, fucking hats, your own sweaters, uh, crew neck sweaters, all these shit, you're gonna you're gonna see that the most custom shirts are gonna be more pricier. You know. And you're gonna say, oh, some some uh, group of kids are gonna say, oh, that's not worth it. I could always go to Marshalls and buy one. You know, that's what I do. It's like, well, it's not worth it. You know, I know how much my art's worth. You know, but I, you know, for that art, and um, I don't know. You know, I'm just putting like some negative things on the way right there. I I gotta snap out of that shit. You know, I gotta snap out of it. You know. And I think that's just like the L.A. type of vibe shit that I get sometimes, you know. That's the L.A. shit where I'm like, you know. And that's where, where sometimes I'm like, you know, I'm, my shit's not for the people from L.A. Maybe, you know. It's like you're making sweaters on a cold winter or on a summer day. You know, you're, you're screen painting sweaters for the summer. And it's like no one's going to wear that. Obviously, if you're not in the in the summer heat, you won't. But if you're from another state where it's always cold, shoot three or four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, there's some like people who are wise. You know, I'm, you know what I'm saying that you're gonna consider out there like that Gary dude. I don't look up to him 100, percent but there's some things where it's like you know it, it does make sense. You know, it's like who's gonna be asking him? Oh, all these like oh i don't do this because of this. it's like you know man it's like you, you know the answer already you know you know the answer already man it's like don't let it get to you man it's like if you need someone to tell you to go for it you know go for it for the right reasons you know do it right You know, do it for the right reasons, man. My coffee mug says hashtag love. I don't know why. You know, I've been thinking about adding hashtags to my art. I haven't been doing any hashtags on it. Uh, it's probably one of those things from that I'm going to be starting it for 2021. I'm not even sure, you know. I get lazy typing shit on, on my phone and, you know, hashtags this, hashtag that, hashtag this, hashtag that, man. It's like, if I feel that that's not making my art advance and explore, because there's all these kids who just like shit randomly, you know? Who knows, man? One day someone's going to see it and it's like, oh, man, you went from not even hashtagging stuff to completely advertising it that way. And it, you know, it's, it's like that route that you don't want it to be taking, taking, you know, but it's going to have to be that way. I mean, it could naturally be that way. 
and I could get over that feeling because I'm, I don't know how that is yet. You know, people have an idea of my logo. Some some group of people out there know it and, you know, have an idea. You know, it's like I got to go back to downtown and get some fabric. It's not easy. But, um, you know, there, there's there's some, some shit on my mind right now. You know, it's like, would you work with someone who had COVID and is slowly recovering from it and they're still coughing? I don't fucking think so. That's the only thing that's bothering me right now. And that's not putting up no excuses for not making art. But it's like, yo, stay the fuck home. I'll make you your money, but stay home. You know, it's like it's scary man i mean that's if you care about your family of your siblings of your mom your parents dogs if it's contagious to dogs uh just little ones to kids man it's like it's it's, it's a you know for that person it might be the reason why the whole pr area has covid you know stay the fuck home man it's like and and they're trying to play it off like they don't like they're a hundred percent, you know like. But it's like you know what man it's like you know it's like. Oh man, it's it's so to the point where I, I'm not even down to show up for the next week. You know I don't want to work with that person for sure, and not that I'm trying to be a dick, but. You know they're not seeing the bigger picture because they feel better. You know they all act different after they're sick. You know and they're scared of death. I I always act different too when I'm scared of death. When something that big happens to me, you know. They act so childish. They act so like they're new. Yeah, I respect that. It's like a phase, man. It's like they're scared. But it's like you can't ignore the fact. You, you can't be, like, all of a sudden nervous and not wanting to, like, acknowledge that you're still sick. You know, that's, like, it's crazy. I'm skeptical working with them, man. It's, like, I don't want to be there, you know. It's boring, and the fact that someone's sick is, like, fuck, man. But you're going to find a different word for me to describe that job here and there, but... I got to stretch out again and, and snap out of it, you know. You know, we don't want to always talk about negative stuff like that. Did I mention that I bought, like, two Snickers and two uh, Butterfingers yesterday walking into CVS? I got off, like, around 8.30, and I was like, I wanted to go somewhere. You know, I wanted to go somewhere and buy something. So I went to CVS. Bro, people just dislike their job, you know. I don't mind my job, but I do talk about it really badly sometimes. I bought like two candy bars, two more candy bars. And I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to just eat this fucking sneaker on the way home. I'm going to eat this Butterfinger when I get home. I'm going to take my, you know, it, it helps me because it helps me uh, enjoy the the timing of my of my walks. You know, it's like I'm not going to go to no one. You know, I'm just going to go home and probably like get myself clean and just knock out or just do some side fucking hobbies before I knock out. And I'm like, when I bought my candy bar yesterday, I was like, fuck, bro, I'm lagging it to get home. You know, like, this is what I needed sort of. You know, I needed to, like, slow down the pace of walking and enjoy my candy bar, bro. There's a lot of people who who light me up, you know, where um, it's weird uh, crossing the street when someone's at the stop sign and you're like, fuck, man, they're going to see me eat this candy bar. <laughs> and it's hard to react, you know. It, it's one of those things where it's like you don't know how to be, you don't know how to, like, just enjoy a candy bar. <laughs> it's funny. It's, it's not like almost every day you see someone with the butterfinger walking down the street, you know. It's, it's something nice, something different. I liked it. Um, I don't really like butterfingers as much. It was maybe because of the hype and that they were on discount. <laughs> A rip-off discount. And when I got home, I made some research on the, on the box of candy bars. 
and um, I wasn't so super amazed because I know Amazon like sells everything, you know. They sell these uh, airheads, sixty piece for seven bucks. I'm not even sure I want to buy some, you know. But it's like I'm almost preparing myself for for before I even get high and shit like that, right? I don't have shit to do. You know, today's my day off. It's Sunday. Buses lag it, so I'm most likely not to go anywhere. You know, I don't want to be. St- you know, I don't want to be here sometimes. Like, get me the fuck out of this place, guys. It's fuck. Yeah, I'll spot you food, but just get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> you know, it's like no one wants to be home, neither. You know, no one wants to be home. You know, there there's so much shit that, that happens at the house, man. It's like, I mean, not bad shit, but it's like, you know, well, you can't really go anywhere, you know. That's true. <laughs> But, um, I don't know, man. It's like, well, find something to do. You know, it's like as much as you're stuck here, find something to do. You already know what to do. Art, designs, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Take advantage of this uh, weather because your computers are going to overheat during the summer. I find myself not working as much during the summer, digital-wise. So that's where I put this fucking machine to sleep. Put it locked away somewhere. And that's where I'm like, you know, this is not the time to uh, do much di- digital painting. But mostly of, um, mostly physical painting. I'm slowly waking up. But let me go ahead and stretch out for a bit. It might be like 10 quiet seconds. Snap out of it. You know, just creative people are hard to find. You know, the true ones are hard to find. You know, the ones that are going to change the world. I feel like I can change the world easily. But I just don't do it. You know, I don't do it. I don't know why. I need a partner. You know, I, I need someone who's going to. Um, yeah, it's always hard to always figure out a way to push yourself. You know, it's always difficult. It's always difficult. It's not easy. It's always, it's hard to find that way of saying, fuck it, shove yourself, shove yourself in that mode, you know. What, what, what's it going to take, you know, to, to shove myself and say, let's get it. Let's, let's bust a giant banner, you know, to change the world. And from people to hear it from Arte Locura and say, fuck it, this is, this is the way we believe, you know. If I'm down to do that, fuck, man, I'll be proud of myself if there's just, like, a picture of it, you know. It's going to be something great when I do see it. I can visualize it clearly. I can visualize it clearly, man. And I know for a fact, for me, for, me, for what I believe in. You know, it's almost like being spiritual. It's almost like being religious and shit, you know. You know, God, send me that chick already, man. Send me that babe, man. You know, God, you've been lagging it, you know. It's like, what am I supposed to be doing? Go search for it? I thought God, like, wanted things to, uh, you know, approach shit. But, you know, God, it's like, God, you're lagging it, man. God, you're too. You're, You're just lagging it, man. It's like. This is why I don't believe you, you know. I don't believe in God, man. But I do like pray sometimes, you know. I do sing to pray, you know, forms of prayer. You know, God, you're just lagging it, man. You're not for me to be believing in you, you know. You know, like I said, I'm a messenger, you know. I'm here to wake you guys up again. What else? I'm not here to find myself attractive and shit like that man i'm here to um just here to remind you that there's another day another week man another week ahead of you with different types of uh numbers (laughs) at different times of months 
you know, um, January 2021 is approaching. And are you going to be ready for your new, um, for your new lifestyle? You know, you know, the good thing is that this year I, I painted more than I did the last year. You know, I did more bigger things this year. You know, and it's starting it. I don't know, it's a weird start. It's a weird start, man. If I'm realistic, it's like, well, I'm going to start the, the new year feeling old. You know? I'm ending the year feeling shortly sad. You know, it's like, I wish I was 28 in the beginning of, nah, not really, you know? And then I was going to say in the beginning of the year, but it's like, nah, man, it's like, let all their birthdays go through and let me have it last at the, at December, you know, I pick myself, find a way for myself, pick myself up again, you know, let them know that their birthday ain't that bad neither, you know, it's like, let them know that people like me also like to share good thoughts, right, it's like, happy birthdays, you know, happy birthday, happy new years, just in case we're not recording one, but happy Christmas, guys, happy Christmas Eve, buena noche, buena, uh, happy other types of holidays. You know, um, hopefully you guys are doing well. You know, I wish everybody's okay. You know, hopefully everybody's fine. If you're just having a hard time, um, I guess there's reasons why you might be having a hard time. If you're trying to bypass hard times and you're just like sitting in your couch or your your office and you're thinking about shit and you're thinking about when you're in your art studio or you're in your backyard or just simply like zipping coffee in the morning uh tell yourself man that you want to change your life you know you or not change your life you want to change something about today a slow start you know it starts slow it's like a painting you and you start by learning and then you end up eventually working your way out of like some depressive mode, no? I gotta say, I was depressive when I started this specific uh, recording in the beginning. I was like, oh man, I'm not feeling it, you know, I'm, I'm not feeling it. I told myself that and I told myself, well, I could see there were some, some events that I did, some acts that I did. It could have been like, It could have been that um, I woke up late for sure. I skipped breakfast. It could have been that um, I'm putting up a sad face in front of uh, happy people. You know, I'm not trying to get in their way neither. But I don't know. It was. It's just like a short phase. You know, I'm not gonna let that become my energy. You know, it's like yeah, I might be grumpy from like half an hour of grumpiness. You know, it's like. And just knowing that it's like, man, it's like, you know, it, it's going to be there. You know, that uh, phase of being grumpy is going to be there. And, and it's like, you know what? It's going to go away. It's going to go away somehow. And then I'm going to back out and, and say, you know what? If it takes me to talk about random shit, you know and to talk about my life or the day of what happened yesterday or my plans or trying or trying to sound like i'm trying to give you guys a heads up on on how to stay i am no expert <laughs> i am no expert you know on how to have a, a nice healthy mentality life it's not easy you know it's not easy man but it's like, who knows, man? There's going to be someone who's going to be like, yeah, you're right. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> you know, it's like, you're right, you're right. But whatever. You know, it's like, whatever. You know, it's, um, there's nothing really much to say right now. It's just like, just listening to music. And that's about it. You know, just let it flow. Let it flow in.
and snap at and then snapping out of it and say you know what man i'm gonna have to upload it i'm gonna have to wait you know, until it uploads and what if i make two in a day you know, what if i add another miarte for the later on to see how we're doing you know an update a continuation of the same one for later but inside i gotta go do some mouthwash i feel i'm catching like a sore throat just trying to prevent shit. I'm not saying I got COVID, but nothing bad. I don't feel like no symptoms. I don't feel bad. Um, I gotta clean up for a bit and just call it out, you know. Peace out. Take care of each other.